Well, welcome back to the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. It's approaching nine o'clock in the evening. Darkness outside, but Babington is shining brightly here on semi-final Saturday at the Total Energies BWF World Championships. That's what we've seen so far. Just one more semi-final to come. The second women's singles, and it's the defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi, up against the number three seed, Anse Young of Korea. Well, when we look at the women's singles draw, uh, we can see the seven different nationalities at quarterfinal stage, two players from China. The top four seeds all through to the semi-final stage. It's only the third time that's happened in women's singles in the history of the World Championships. But three of the four semi-finalists have all been world number ones. The Olympic champion uh, beat the Olympic silver medalist in the bottom half of the draw. Who will join Chen Wufei? in the final tomorrow. Will it be the defending champion and number one seed, Akane Yamaguchi, or the number three seed, Anse Young from Korea? Well, the fans have stayed uh, because Akane Yamaguchi is a big favourite here in Japan. Her work ethic and her never-say-die attitude loved by the Japanese fans. Akane Yamaguchi winning the gold medal in Welva last December, beating Tai Su Ying in the final. So it is the defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi, against Aung San Young from Korea. Dramatic entrance for the players here in Tokyo. Anakane Yamaguchi, the defending champion, walks into the spotlight. Both physically and metaphorically. Looking to reach her third final of the year. Won the All England Championships and lost in the final of the Asian Championships. But she, prior to these World Championships, already had two World Championship medals. She's guaranteed a third by virtue of today's semi-final. Anse Young of Korea. Only 20 years of age and only playing in her second World Championships. She lost in the quarter-final last December at the World Championships in Welva, and she lost to her opponent of today, Akane Yamaguchi, who went on to take a gold medal. But she only lost in three games, and I think Anse Young has improved in the last 
year or so. Three finals already this year from Anissa Young. Looking for a fourth. And this will be a 13th meeting between these two All players. Right. Uh, Nakani Yamaguchi having won second. Black. But Anissa Young won the last. Black. Which was the Uber yeah. Cup semi final. So it's been three games in that. So I believe Akane Yamaguchi won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. Hakane Yamaguchi is 25 years of age from Fukui and she is the current world number one, enjoying her 27th week in total on her third spell as world number one. But she'll lose her world number one status on Tuesday because some of her results from the frozen world ranking from 2019 are coming off her list of tournaments. Now, her bye in the first round for all seeds, and then she played Gregoria Mariska Tungjung of Indonesia. Only 34 minutes for that one. And then played against her teammate, the left-handed Sayaka Takahashi. And that was also two straight games, as indeed was the quarter-final against the three-time former champion, Carolina Marin. 17 and 17, 54 minutes. It was a very good quarter-final. So to the number three seed, Anse Young, as I was telling you, just 20 years of age from Guangzhou in the southwest of the country. And uh, 170 is five foot seven. Incidentally, her opponent is only five foot two. Yamaguchi, the shorter of the two. Anse Young is at her career high of three, enjoying her 14th week in total. Now, she beat Nguyen in the second round and then beat uh, the number 16 seed, Chang Bei Wen, but then had a marathon match in the quarterfinal. Went to three games against Han Yue from China. Had been 2015 up in the deciding game before she eventually won it 22 20 in an hour and 10 minutes. Ready to play. So, Simon Ong Meng Feng from Hong Kong, China is our umpire for this one, and Hua Yana of Indonesia, the service judge. So obviously, Akane Yamaguchi trying to reach a second consecutive final. As the defending champion, Fran So Young. Well, there's only ever been one player from Korea in the women's singles final at the World Championships. And you have to go back 29 years to Bang Soo Hyung, who lost out to Susie Suzanti in the final in 1993. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, An Xin Korea. Akane Yamaguchi, Japan. <laughs> As you to serve, Lopo, play. So the last of our semi finals of this year's World Championships gets underway. Women's singles, Akane Yamaguchi, the defending champion against the 20-year-old number three seed, and Say Young of Korea. Loose one, well put away by the Korean youngster. One, love. There is the last player from Korea to medal 
at the World Championships. Sung Ji Hyung, now coaching the women's singles squad in Korea. Was a medalist seven Two. years ago in Jakarta wow. in 2015. Japanese coaching bench. She's hitting against the drift. Sporting pedigree does this lady, Am Si Young. Her father was a boxer. He actually represented Korea at the 1994 Asian Games here in Japan in Hiroshima. Rally. She's found the line. Service over. Five, three. Yeah, in fact, just inside the line. jump to create the extra angle yeah, and she needs to do that because of her lack of height thank you five foot two I can tell you that the net posts are only five foot one four the net should be five, five foot in the play. middle
delightful cross court net shot. Service over. Six five. Just turn that racket head at the last moment, just to guide it across court. It's going wide. Lovely block, I love that cross court block. Yeah, perfection. Well, the amount of scrambling and retrieving that Akane Yamaguchi had to do in that rally. Well, she is a great retriever. Yeah, we do forget sometimes about her really good racket skills as well. the last five points to Yamaguchi. Landed on the line, 11, and Anse Young goes ball. to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage against the defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven nine. Play. 
11-9. Good return of serve. Well, you see, that's the issue. You, you know, she made a service, service error over. a little Ten. earlier. And now she's trying to give it a little more height to ensure she doesn't make the error. And in doing so, she's opening up the opportunity for Yamaguchi to attack the low serve. 11 all. That's a lovely shot. Oh, my goodness, what a rally. This is a big point. <laughs> Missed the next shot. And the young. Uh, 12, 11. Oh, three straight points. Yamaguchi since the mid-game interval. When she won gold at the last World Championships, Akane Yamaguchi became the second player from Japan to win women's singles gold over after Nozomi Okuhara. She won gold in 2017. Yeah, the opportunity was there. It didn't really need to have to be that tight to the net because Anse Young was having to scamper from her deep forehand corner, a full diagonal of the court. Who's he said uh, challenging? And he said it's Anse Young challenging. But it was called out. She wouldn't be challenging if it's called out. And then it was out. Yeah, it was Yamaguchi that challenged. Akane, Akane, sorry. Yeah, umpires are going to have to explain to Yamaguchi. I announced the challenge wrongly, sorry. It should be your challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Yeah, well, Yamaguchi did... Uh, they both 15, held up their 13. hands to challenge. Play. So the lost challenge goes to Yamaguchi. Only got one challenge left. Well, that's had been four straight points to Anse Young in response to the four straight points from Yamaguchi after the mid-game interval. That 
it's definitely along the back line. Service over. 16, 14. Magnificent. After Shabin off balance, been under pressure at the back of the court, Akane Yamaguchi suddenly finds a cross court smash winner. Court. And 17, that deflected the shuttle and 15. made it very awkward for Yamaguchi to time her return. find the floor with that cross-court smash from the round-the-head position, but once again it was a winner uh, because it forced an error. Thank you. level. crucial stage, 18, defending champion 17. into the lead. Rally two. Nice. What a super shot. 19, that was a half smash. That was all about angle. Angle and placement. And it was played to perfection. Are you alright? Another marathon rally. Oh, 
equals the longest rally so far. So a two points advantage and two points away from the opening game. Nineteen seventeen. Play. Frustration. Well, that would be four straight points 19. to put her in a good position. And it is awfully tight. 18 19. <laughs> Missed it. It's 19 all. 19 all. position that Akane Yamaguchi has played so well so far in this semi-final encounter. Hamza Young getting it back this time. But Yamaguchi was quick on the follow-up. And it is the defending champion from Japan who has the game point opportunity. against Sunse Young. 23 minutes for the first game. An excellent first game. <笑>あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
Love. We've seen it all week and it's been emphasized, I think, today. I think the drift has been more pronounced the lengthways drift. Shuttle flying faster, going towards that far side of the court as we're looking down now. Yeah, well played. Service over. Well, I mentioned that Yamaguchi is the number one seat. This is her fifth consecutive World Championships. And it is the fifth consecutive time she's either been the number one or the number two seed in the women's singles. And when you consider she's only 25 years of age, that's absolutely extraordinary. in the attempted neck shot and after that neck shot is a little concerning to me. I think she's beginning to lose her spirit. I think it's very important she wins the next couple of rows, which isn't going to happen. To keep her spirits high, Four, keep her belief there. One. fans are responding to this four-point advantage for Yamaguchi. Urging her on. Start Two, closing down this five. gap and say young. Nice. Three, five. Body language, look at Service over. And say young after the rally. Six. Uh, bouncing three. up and down on the spot, the frustration. It's loose. Oh my goodness, got the neck cord. Oh. Just wide. Service over. Oh, she's hanging in there, and so young. Four, six. Probably one of the most consistent players of the year, and so young. This is her seventh semi-final in 11 tournaments this year. That's the problem with the drift. Service over. Seven, four. It wasn't long by much, but misses as good as a mile. Yeah. I like the way that Yamaguchi is moving to her back corners. That time, the forehand corner. Leaps in the air, takes it as early as possible, and plays the cross court. 
not giving her opponent any time really to settle in the base position in the centre of the court. And we want to do that before then moving to retrieve the next shot. Eight, four, play. Look at the body language again of Anse Young. Nine, a little bounce four. of frustration. Leading. Yeah, I think there's a blood injury. It's bleeding. when it happened. Court surface is a little bit rough, so that the players got a grip with their shoes. And it does mean if you slide along the court surface, you tend to lose a bit of skin. Cyclists call it losing a bit of bark, as in bark of the tree. When they come off the bicycle, they lose some skin. Uh, this is a, a very commanding lead at the moment. And so Young desperately needs to close down this gap before the mid-game interval. a seven-point advantage for the defending champion Akane Yamaguchi here in the second game, having already taken the first. Both of the <laughs> visibly see the belief just seeping away from Anse Young. Such a good athlete, Yamaguchi. Pushed it wide, and the run of points Seven comes to over. an end at Five, eight points. 14. 
But I'm pretty convinced that that passage of play, those eight straight points, Service line. will be the deciding factor okay, in this second you. game. Five, 14. she was a good retriever but this is ridiculous uh, Six, and C Young probably thought she'd won the rally three times over but still the shuttle came back finally finally forced the error point advantage 16. now. Surely Six. there's no way back for Ense Young. Surely uh, Akane Yamaguchi will reach her second consecutive final. <laughs> Ense Young just has no Seven answers key. today. Six. Acute angle from Yamaguchi. Her follow-up was quick. She could have played it anywhere. She took it so early. Choosing the cross court. Well, this has been total domination in this second game by Yamaguchi. All look very close at 6 4. Since then, she's just raced away. just about making the scoreline a little more respectable. Say young. Nine nineteen. It's match point opportunities Seven for over. the defending champion Akane Yamaguchi. Twenty match point nine. Why 
tonight. Service over. 10, 20. points have come and gone. 12, 20. I do beg your pardon, I think it's only three. champion converts 21 19 21 12 in a match lasting 42 minutes and the home nation will be involved in two finals tomorrow the mixed doubles and the women's singles Well, that all-important opening game yeah, very sh rarely shows emotion for Tani Yamaguchi. That's a nice smile, though, at the end of this match. Match time rounded up to 43 minutes. So Yamaguchi will be back tomorrow because she's beaten Anse Young 21-19-21-12 minutes. So that concludes semi-finals for today and we look forward to the 27th BWF World Badminton Championship Finals tomorrow. And we do know the order for tomorrow. Uh, but let's just recap on what's happened today. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, the three-time former champions, have never been beaten as a pair at the World Championships through to their fourth final as a combination. The defending champions and two-time winners, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, uh, beat two other former champions, Matsumoto and Nagahara, two straight games. The Olympic bronze medalists, Cha and So from Malaysia, beat the Commonwealth Games gold medalists in the men's doubles. The women's doubles was an absolute thriller. Kim and Kong are coming from 15-19 down, saving three match points against uh, the Thai combination. Wuidesan beat the left-handed uh, Xiao Jungpeng to reach his final. He's been a three-time world junior champion. Victor Axelson, he was up next. He was the sixth match of the day. The former world champion and reigning Olympic champion beat Cho Tien Chen in two straight games. Uh, and we're not quite seeing it. Order of play for tomorrow, so is starting with men's doubles and it is the uh, three-time former champions against the Olympic bronze medalists and then it is women's doubles with the Olympic silver medalists against the Olympic bronze medalists, the defending champions from China. Then it's men's singles 
and uh, the Olympic champion uh, against uh, Wiji San, who is three-time former world junior champion. Women's singles doesn't get much better than this. The defending champion against the Olympic champion, Yamaguchi, against Chen Fei in her first world championship final. Mixed doubles is the Olympic silver medalist against the Olympic bronze medalist. Home interest here as well. Shen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong in their third world championship final up against the silver medalists from the last world championships, Watanabe and Higashino. Finals tomorrow, a little later than today, 3 p.m. A local time, that's 0600 GMT from all of us here. Until the finals tomorrow, especially from me, Jill Clark, bye for now. Enough space with others when you leave the